Hello and welcome back again to this series of advanced smuggling tutorials for Earth Truck Simulator 2. Today we are going to cover a subject that may look quite simple, but a lot of mappers have a hard time to grasp it. Cut planes. Today I'm going to explain what cut planes are and how you can use them. The only way to explain cut planes properly is to actually use one and just to see what they do. Uh, for, to make, make a new cut plane just select new item and select from this list item type, select the cut plane and place a new one here at least, yeah, now it works uh, okay, you so if you place a new cut plane here it will have two yellow nodes and these are the ends of the cut plane uh, okay, so uh, you can move uh, th these nodes around So. What do we actually see here? Well, the yellow line is the plane where, after behind which uh, objects are being hidden. If you see it from look from it and on the, often on the other side, uh, the white lines show the boundaries of this area. So the boundaries of on one side which objects are hidden, and from the other side where the cut plane has effect. So okay. We uh, are going to place some other objects here. Uh, let's say we place here a model, and we place a road, just like this. We place a prefab, and this is all just random. It's a prefab, and we place a. Let's see, a magic patch. Actually, two. So, um, if you look from above, you see that uh, on this side you see all the objects here, all the objects being displayed properly, and maybe if we set the distance settings of all these to far, there was the F3, the F3 trick um, again for re replacing materials. You see that. Uh, from this side you can just we can see everything properly. But if you move back, suddenly a few objects start to vanish and that's because their nodes are behind the cut plane. So no matter how close you get, they will they will disappear. And to this gives gives uh, you a bit a uh, bit of idea what it actually does. But there are two main pur purposes for a cut plane. Uh, the first purpose is to optimize performance, and performance is a thing uh, that a performance uh, can be increased by, by the sub using cut planes just to hide the number of objects and therefore they will not be drawn, which will reduce the draw call count and it will also reduce the triangle count, which is beneficial for your performance of your game. The second, the second purpose of this thing is is to hide parts of the scenery. For instance, if you have two different sceneries close to each other, you don't want the uh, want the scenery of one part of your map, map le leaking into the other part. So this this uh, this good place can also be used for for dividing uh, several scenes. Um, there are f few things you need to understand about how the when the good planes start to cut. Um, the first thing is is that uh, they cut they cut uh, everything everything based on their node position. So the position of, uh, for instance, this cut plane will cut uh, this uh, thing this uh, object away if its node is he here behind the cut plane. So if you move it here, it will be cut. But if I just move, well, even if a, a part of the object is on the other side of the cut plane it should not be cut, but if I move this just a bit around then when the node just passes this white line it starts to appear. That's uh, for, for for objects with just a single node, for instance a, uh, a uh, model, but also base shape patches, they, also, they all, always have a middle, a central node. So if I move the central node at one point it starts to disappear. But if I select the other node, and I move 
flipped him around. Um, whoop, no, I didn't want to pick the cup plane itself. Oops, and the other way around, it will still remain unhidden. And in, on the other end, if you 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 have uh, moved out the central note, the, the central note of the of the base patch out of the rest of the plane, it can appear while the whole plane is behind the cut plane, because its origin node is uh, not uh, not uh, behind the cut plane. Um, for roads and, and buildings, uh, it's uh, a bit more complicated. There, there, both nodes must be behind the cut plane. So. This node is behind the cut plane, but this part of the road section is drawn. The same goes for this one, but this part has both its nodes behind the cut plane, and therefore will not be drawn. As for prefabs, the same thing uh, happens uh, for prefabs. So all the nodes must be behind the cut plane before it gets hidden. And if just one node just gets a bit outside of the skill plane, it will not be hidden. Uh, that's another property is, and then I need one thing on the other side, is that you can make cut planes one sided, so it will only cut on one side. And this thing only cuts the, sc the scenery away if you are looking from the side with the red line. So if you are looking at this uh, part, it will list from this direction. It will cut away the extra PG patch I placed on the other side, but if I look from this side, it will not cut away anything. Oh, that was my microphone. So this way you can you can uh, a bit uh, play a bit with the cut planes. Now there are a few other things you need to know for for cut planes, other than the, then you can move them around. Uh, you can also add and no remove nodes from them. So if you click on append node, it will add a node, and if you remove last node, if you do remove last node, then it will remove it. Um, so you can have some irregular shapes like this, so which are some times I have used. It, we have used them um, to unhide a few a few objects for that are or should. Should be behind the cut plane, but they are not behind really behind the cut plane if you do this. And so you can get here uh, is a cut plane, and you see that this thing appears. And if you do this, uh, it disappears, and the rest of the scene appears behind the cut plane. Um, do note that the middle click t trick, which y can be used for roads or buildings, does not work on cut plates, and this can be a pretty annoying if you have really complex cut planes. And I will switch a, switch a scene to another scene from a, a, maybe a sneak preview from a unreleased part of the map which I can really demonstrate how you can re can hide the scene. Okay here I've moved on to the location and as you can see this looks really messy with all kinds of objects going right through each other and and if you would not apply cut planes, you would really have uh, scenery le leaking everywhere. But we have applied them, and what ha what happens here is that we have two sceneries mixed into one location, and the cut plane is here is a really complex, really w wavy, wiggly line. And this wig this line is so wiggly because it needs to to cover all the nodes that should be visible from one side but not the other. So for instance this building and this scenery object should only be visible from this side and should be hidden from the other side. But they are re but they are mixed uh, in the landscape of the other side so it gets to something really complex. Uh, also the, some of these building nodes are strategically placed around so so that that both the nodes are either behind the cut plane or, no or not. So you have a really strict revision of two sceneries, and you will probably notice it when we move the camera here. So here we have just a river scene, which is uh, quite nice. Just a nice little river scene with uh, some church towers, but if you just get into this cut plane, 
you will probably see a few buildings, city, landscape. It's a completely different landscape than what, what we saw in the other, pla other place. But the funny thing is, is that these two sceneries are actually at the same location physically on the map. But with the cut plane we have actually separated the two scenes from each other. And it's so most of the most ingenious uh, use of cut planes we have used on the map so far. But this, will cl this clearly demonstrates how practical the usage of cut planes can be. And what you can do if you really set your mind to it. So that's it for today and I will see you next time.